Hey guys, I'm gonna upgrade the turning brakes on this tank. Uh, the way it is now, I got it set up for the it's just these levers here, hand levers that pull on the pulleys here, V belt pulleys, and that's what turns it either side. But they break once in a while, even after I backed it with this piece of metal here. So I think that's going to be an ongoing problem. So I'm going to upgrade it, hopefully upgrade to these uh, band brakes. I got two of them. I think they're like probably like eight inch. Um, so I don't know if those are going to be sufficient braking power for it or not, but we'll give it a try. It's not too hard to change. I just got to make hubs for those and luckily I designed this so I could get it to it from the outside. I just got to pull the, tre the treads off here and the, this whole panel comes off. And I could get to it from the outside without taking the transmission out or anything. Alright, I got that hub made up and this little brace to hold the end of it. And the reason I put it over there rather than down to the bottom is because I didn't want it to interfere with the nut, the bolt that's going to go in here. So that should be able to move freely now. I think this will work good. So I just gotta hook up this, make a bolt that could go through here, and that'll be it. Easy enough. Alright, I got that side back together. Now I'm working on this side. Uh, it's a little different the way it attaches. The hub, the old one, the other side went with a through bolt here through the axle. And this side's got a just a keyway and set screws. So I found this piece uh, that I'm going to use for the hub. I drilled it and tapped it for these set screws. So I'll put that in here somewhere and do it the same way as I did the other one with a couple of uh, tabs here. And I, re I really need a broach set so I can make my own keyways, but I don't have one, so I'll just use this. I'd like it to be a little wider, but I think this will work fine. And I glued this uh, band brake back together. The friction material here came off, so I JB welded it back on. Should be good. <coughs> and I think if these don't grab so well, I can make this uh, make like a lever here so that it pulls twice as hard or or better instead of directly on it. I'll make a lever and then it'll give it more pulling force 
and if all else fails, I could look, maybe I'll look into some motorcycle disc brakes or some hydraulic, you know, motorcycle disc brakes like that. But we'll see how it turns like that, so get to it. Well, they work good, but had a bit of a failure here. This one fell off, got jammed in between there, so can't really drive it back like that. I don't want to ruin the band, so I'm going to see if I could wrestle it onto the trailer here. And we'll get her fixed up again. i got to make some guides for it, I guess. Keep it on the drum. All right, I ended up uh, just driving it back because it didn't fit on that trailer. But uh, I got this all fixed up. Uh, I just put a bunch of tabs on here to keep it centered. I think it came off because this uh, these set screws loosened up and the it moved over that way and then it fell off. So I weld it on this extra collar here to give it some more support so now it's got like four set screws in it and a wider collar I think that'll do it so I'll give it another try